<sighs> Anyways, we, uh, <laughs> for those of you who have never been here before, uh, Jeff and I have embarked on a, uh, on a historic new podcasting uh, experiment, which is we're playing Dungeons & Dragons on our podcast. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably someone else is doing it, it's, but fuck it's, them. It's podcast dynamite. This guy's nodding in the front row. Are you doing it on your podcast? Is that why you're here? No, but there's a lot of podcasts. <laughs> all right, well, all right, fine. <laughs> He said, wait, wait. he said. He said. There's a lot of podcasts. Yeah, of course there is. That makes sense. Like, like, what, yeah, that actually makes the D and D and porn are probably the first things to arrive anywhere. There's a new technology. Like, <laughs> uh, like, 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 and they're the same people asking that question. Can we? Can we use this to uh, role play while taking a break from jerking off? <laughs> well, uh, we should ask him then. Like, are there pitfalls? Are there things that we should do or not do? Well, that's a good idea. Well, let's bring him up here. Could you mind coming yeah, up? Come on up on stage. You, you won't be humiliated. Sh- share a mic, Carmen. Yeah, share What's your name, boy. sir? Uh, my name's Greg. Greg, okay. Greg. <laughs> so, Greg, you're, you've, you've seen Dungeons and Dragons played on other podcasts. Yes, okay. I've listened to it played on other podcasts. <laughs> so are there? So is it, yeah, like Jeff said, is there a? Uh, is there are there things that we should avoid? Are there, give us some do's and don'ts for uh, for podcasting our D and D campaign. Jesus. Like, what's the biggest mistake you think has ever been made, aside from the action itself? Uh, also, Greg. Aside from me also, Greg. Oh, sorry. Greg, take your shirt off. <laughs> nope. Oh, jeez. Um. Uh, okay, I've listened to a lot of role playing game podcasts. They do uh, live D and D games and other stuff. Uh, generally, I stop listening to them because the people are sort of intolerable. So, oh, interesting. <laughs> well, if that was going to stop anybody, I'd be dead by now. Yeah. <laughs> um, how, how do we stay tolerable? <laughs> yeah, expound on that, can you? Without making too many what, enemies? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> what? What? Uh, how about this? Uh, I'm going to lower your mic. Oh, uh, that'll help. What, what, what makes What makes them intolerable? Generally, it's uh, uh, people laughing too much at their own when they quote Monty Python. Nice. Uh, <laughs> All right. No, uh, that, no Monty Python quote. Yeah, that sort of thing. You, you guys are new enough that you probably don't have any in jokes from about right. four campaigns ago. So. But that's a, but that's an easy thing to fall into. Yeah. Is in jokes. Yeah, uh, in jokes are hard. Um, I would suggest maybe keeping it short. Yeah, yeah. That's like, a good rule. I, I, anyway. I actually, I missed the last one, so I don't know how this went last time. But we my, didn't keep it short. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, we fell I'll, into I'll your third honest. sand trap. Uh, <laughs> there was a dog leg in the first fairway, and we ended right yeah, in. Since I'm on the spot, th- that did come up in line while I was. <laughs> People going. I hope they don't do three chapters of the laser lights with the statues. Yeah, I, I, I mean, having been stuck in a uh, mirror puzzle type things myself in D and D games, um, I would say that if I was the DM, I might uh, lean more towards something which would allow you guys to role play and riff off each other right. than having to figure something out. Right, right. <laughs> All right, Greg, Greg, Greg everybody. Greg. All right. Well done, Greg. Thank you very much. Well, that was a wolf in sheep's clothing, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, d- 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 Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. 